wonderful! They're here! We've only just arrived ourselves. Amazing! I bid you welcome to the back room. Oblivion's humble headquarters. A hideout tucked behind a drinking hole. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Our members here are mainly creators and adapters. That is, scientists and engineers who specialize in electro. They use their skills to provide support to our field operatives. Genel, Shale, be so kind as to give our friends an overview of your duties. Well, there's provisioning. Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight, ain't ya? Luckily, we got the tools to craft most of what we need. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own. That sort of thing. And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. The organization credited with laying the foundations of Electrope technology. From the sole management system to Everkeep's design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they made this realm what it is. But their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Said power isn't unlike my summoning technique and the magic within Asm's crystal. Yet, though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities... Even with my knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it could be possible. Incidentally, the founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point. But they opposed the fusing of worlds, and so defected in order to prevent it. While not entirely unexpected, given what we have seen, this is still quite the revelation. By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. Oh, you didn't know. Well, as a precautionary measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter. And when we scanned you, we detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring. Do you know aught of them? Listen, Cryo. The husband and wife who founded our order. It's believed that they were Malala. Though we have no evidence at present, we can't rule out the possibility that they were your parents, or perhaps close relations. This I posit because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. If they had a child they feared they couldn't keep safe, entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. My parents, the founders of Oblivion. Tell me everything you know about them, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. Anything and everything. We don't even know their names, I'm afraid. In a bid to elude preservation's agents, 
We suspect they erase all trace of themselves. I'm sorry we couldn't be of more help. If you're interested, though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. Yes, please. As an individual and member of my order both, I wish to learn as much as possible. I should also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. Of course. Feel free to peruse to your heart's content. Thank you. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say, the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look. I dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records. Is there any other way we might be productive? Mm, not right now. We're still waiting for Zoralja to make the next move. In that case, Alice, would you mind accompanying me? Gladly. Oh, oh, I've buggered it up again! Ugh, never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind, I don't. Oi, you two there! Why don't you give me a hand, would you? Don't matter who. Uh, I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay.
mean to ask about that Mamulja child? Could... Yes. In all likelihood, he's Zoralja's son. So you think so too. But what is he doing here? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the Drift Downs a few years ago. <sighs> to think he'd cast aside his child. We can't say for certain who he was born to, or why he was on his own. But he's a blue-scaled Hubigo, and Zoralja is the only other one around. That being the case, everyone assumes their father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. This all happened when he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. What's his name? Kaluja. It was my hope that he'd grow up to be a man of principle, like his grandfather. <laughs> it's a fine name. Uh, I should mention that the boy is a little unusual. At first, I intended to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. What? It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. On making inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food from the people of the outskirts. This became something of a pattern. We track him down and bring him back, only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. Finally, I took the hint and left him be, giving him the solitude he prefers, and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. If Gululja is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. But seeing as I'm here to kill his father, I don't know if it would be right. Who was that? Oh dear. It's Galulja. Don't tell me he heard everything. Oh, this is my fault. I asked that he be kept away, but I should have taken more precautions. I'm going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamachi. I understand your haste, but it'd be best to coordinate a search. Kapkiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. If those who can fight would search below, my mother and I will scour the district. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. <laughs>